Yo, baby, what is poppin'? Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shake Duffner. Every day, we always go to find the craziest adventure that we can find. Hopefully, uh, we don't end up getting kidnapped again because if you guys didn't see my last video, me and Paulie, the bald man over there, we got into some really, really deep stuff. If you guys are from Phil's channel, first of all, I'd like to welcome you guys and thank you guys for all the support that you gave me on my last video. It really, really means the world, but Everybody is asking questions. What happened? Why were we even in that position? Pretty much, I'm a YouTuber that just goes on crazy adventures, and recently, we've been on a wild, wild journey. Here's a little recap. The last few days, my life has completely flipped upside down. I came across a man in the woods who ended up being a cannibal. Naturally, me and my friends wanted to figure out more. Unfortunately, that was the start of a huge rabbit hole that we might never make it out of. The blood this man was ingesting was baby blood. After getting our hands on it, we learned that the baby blood was symbolism for satanic sacrifice. Having the baby blood on us caused a mini team of militia to hunt us down in search for that very baby blood. Me being the hero I always wanted to be, decided to stand up for the good. Sorry bad guys, the Duffies are in town. <laughs> I know, you don't want daddy to go on these crazy adventures anymore. You're scared for daddy. Millie is too. Everybody go out and play. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. The police have been notified. When we left that car, Phil actually messaged me on Instagram when we started communicating back and forth. First of all, I owe that guy a lot because he pretty much, no, he actually did save mine and Paul's life and the girl that was in the back seat. We put the guy in the trunk and uh, we called the cops because the girl was unconscious and for us, in order for us to get her out of there, it would have been a real big hassle. So we called the cops, cops came immediately. And as of right now, we believe that everything is under control. I know who the guy is that kidnapped me, not personally, but I know who he is involved with. And that is Calvin McGinley. Yo, so you wanna go give the Duffies what they want? And what's that? The Duffies want to see exactly what went on. They want us going back to Calvin's house, bro. They want us going back to Calvin. Listen, so. we don't have to. There's already like 15 episodes about what happened. We'll watch that. Nah, dude, I'm we tired. have to go back today. It is daytime out. We can get away with it right now. He's usually only there at nighttime. You know that. He's only there at nighttime. We can go now. We can show him everything. We can show him around. I think we'll be good. So then let's go. Yeah, yo. Let's freaking get it, baby. We're sending it for the Duffies. Yo, drop that like right now. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button too. Like I said, we ain't doing nothing but crazy journeys every single day. I can't find where this guy is. Oh, there he is. Me and the ball, man. Run, Marsh, run. Run, 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 run. Millie's got a toy. Run, run, run. Oh, oh, it's a high speed chase. It's a high speed chase. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? <laughs> As you can see, I got some vicious guard dogs to hold down my house when I'm gone, just in case anybody wants to break in. I got the ferocious beasts right there. All right, we're pulling up right now. Yo, show them around where we are. I know that most of my fans know where we are, but for all the new people, we are literally in the middle of absolute nowhere. Like, this is South Jersey for you. If you're from South Jersey, you'll rep it. We are too, but... We're, it's literally just nothing but woods. This road goes forever and it's nothing but woods around it. Uh, we know a guy that owns property here. His name's Calvin McGinley and he's a very, very, very bad man. We accidentally stumbled across him and everything has went south since then. But us being the adrenaline junkies that we are, we just continue to come back and finding more and more about the Calvin McGinley family. Ugh. Dude, I'm like getting nervous already. Like I'm getting shit. I'm like, my fingers are shaking, dude. 
my fingers are shaking. We're pulling up in the next five minutes, so I'm gonna pick the camera up when we get there. I gotta like mentally prepare. All right, this is the moment of truth. We just pulled up. We parked a little bit away from the property for obvious reasons. You don't want to just pull up on his property and say, hey, we're here, we have a car, come kill us. So we're parking about a half a mile down and we're gonna walk up there and show you guys everything. You ready for this, bald man? Yep. I'm not. Look at this place, beautiful. I love it, I love the scenery, but super creepy. Why, why is it that South Jersey always has the most crazy psychopaths? I don't know. I don't know. If you know that answer, let me know in the comments. We're coming up on the house. I don't know if you guys can see it through the woods right there, but this is where it starts saying like posted property and stuff like that. So the McGinley's own all of this land. We're being adventurous and we went on the property and that's how we started finding out all the crazy stuff that this man does. Right now we're about to enter the trail right to this guy's house. He's not here during the day most of the time. So I think we're, uh, we're okay with that, but we just want to be 100% sure because he does have a lot of family members. We're looking through it right now. This is a tent that we used when we were psychos and tried to stay overnight on this man's property. He destroyed it and almost killed us that night. There'll be a car on, this, on the screen right now if you wanna watch that video. There's the house right over there. Why do we do these things, bro? Why? Why do we do these things? You agree to it. You should stop me once in a while, bro. We're gonna end up dying from this stuff. I'm just an adrenaline junkie, I can't help it. This stone right here is placed right in front of Calvin's butcher shop, and it is rumored that this is a tombstone that is completely blank because one of his family members brutally murdered his father, and when they buried the father, they didn't want his name on the tombstone because they didn't want anything to be exposed to the authorities about what this family does to all these innocent people. Apparently, this is where his father is buried right here on this blank tombstone. All right, what's the plan? You wanna go actually inside the property? No, let's not go in there. Dude, there's I There's already 20 videos about this, dude. There's no I know, but there. dude, my at blood point, is pumping, bro. At this bro. point, we're bullying him. We're not, he's not even bullying us. Dude, my heart is pumping, bro. I just feel like we should just send it real quick. I say if we send it, it's broad daylight, bro. We're faster than this guy. We can run way faster than him. Let's just send it, I wanna see. Dude, I, I wanna see. Oh, dude, oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, oh. Let's do it, let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. The problem now, too, is that the trees have no leaves, so they can see right through it. If this guy's here, he's gonna see us for sure. Ooh. I'm sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm like literally shaking right now. I'm just kind of scared. There's a bloody bag here. It looked like something was in it. Ew, ew, there's something actually in it. You can see the green, like something's rotting inside of it. Oh my God, dude. Do you want to open that? No. I'm not touching it, no shot. I don't know what's in there. Could be an animal, or it could be obviously something a lot worse, but I'm not even gonna chance it. I'm just letting that sit there for now. Something's rotting inside of that. It also smells terribly. We're still moving around. I don't see. What? I think there's a, there's something hanging inside of this house. I think I just saw something in the window. I'm not even joking. Go in the window right there. What? Go in the window right there. I just, yeah, yeah, I can see it in that window. It's the high one. There's something hanging in there. Guys, this is a not, not a good spot to be right now. This is not a good spot. I can just feel the evil. I can feel myself like shaking. And there's a jar of decaying meat right there. Again, we don't know what, oh my God, that smells so bad. Oh my God. Oh, that's, oh, I feel sick. Damn, that smells really freaking bad. Oh, I'm not going near that again. Yo, Paul, you're a psychopath. You just walked in there? What if this guy's here? What? You should check this out, look. You found something? Oh, the roof is leaking and stuff like that. It does not look like this guy's coming here anytime soon. It's probably when that guy drinks his water. What? Oh my God, here we go. I knew it. I told you I saw something hanging in here. Okay, that's disgusting. I'm not really gonna show the camera that too much. This house right here that we're in is the first time we've ever seen Calvin McGinley. And at the time we thought he was just a really messed up like hunter, like he had some problems. But uh, very quickly we figured out what this guy really does and what kind of monster he is. This is where he chops people up. Not fun. Do you see that over there? There's another, there's another structure back there. Yeah, we've been there before. Have we? Yeah. I don't remember. 
that's where he found me and uh, no, that's where he found you. Under the house. Oh yeah. No, no, no. That's not that house. That house is over there. All right, so let's go check. There's out some. Room. There's like a brick, a brick wall over there or something. Should we go check her out? Might as well. Never been there before. And as I'm stepping off this, look what I find. In case you guys that are watching this for the first time think that uh, I'm bullcrapping. There is a human bone right here that I'm stepping on. And the reason why I know it's human is because it's way too big to be any other animal. It looks like a forearm, maybe. It's literally the size of my arm. That is vile. Okay, I'm not gonna play around with that too much. Yo, 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 yo. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. I don't hear anything. What do you get down, get down. Oh my god. What did you hear now? You didn't hear that? No, I was on my phone. Dude, we've been here so many times, it doesn't even phase me anymore. I don't even know what you're talking about. Dude, dude, no, I heard somebody walking. It was us. Are you sure? Sure. Might be in my head, I don't know. But I'm getting nervous. So in the backyard of the house, we find this. You can tell there's some bloody cloth on it. Um, looks like it's something he probably cooked something on. Maybe the meat he cooks it on, like a rotisserie. Not sure. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this, so... Uh, Kind of creeped out about that. Ugh. This guy is messed up in the head. Oh, yo, that house is a lot bigger than I thought. Look at that thing. We've only been here really at nighttime, so we've never really seen any of this stuff. The only thing I can think of is this where he throws his body. is like a mass grave. That is very, very creepy. And I do not want to go in there because, like I just said, we can only imagine what was in this big pit of nothingness. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Try to be as quiet as possible. Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, be quiet. This isn't the best way to go. He's going to that house over there. He's in that house right there. I, he just walked in. So let's go by the window. Go. Shh. 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 He's in there. He's in there. Where the hell am I going to put these five kids, man? Up the house. My house is wrecked as it is. What the hell happened here? Someone came in here and messed up Mama's bed. These damn kids, I swear they come in here when no one's here. Hello? Well, you look at this. 
fresh footprints. It looks like they lead somewhere outside. Maybe they're out here. I hear you. If it wasn't winter, I'd probably smell you too. So I'm going to give you a warning. Just run, just run. He's not coming after us. I don't care. Start the car. Oh my god, dude. This guy just said he's bringing more kids here tonight. Yeah, five kids. He, he said, said five? Five kids. Five babies. No. Yeah. Dude, he's gonna try to try to use their meat, dude. Oh my god. Now yeah. what? Now what do we do? I don't know, but Cletus is still alive. <sighs> We're gonna come back tonight. Let's go. You think so? Yeah, but you need to put the ignition in the car. Dude, he's he wants to, to go. kidnap people. He has people kidnapped. No, he's getting a shipment, he said. Of kids? Yeah. So let's go. Get out of here now. Let's bring as many people as we can. We're coming back tonight. We're saving these kids. 